There are cases that have left an indelible mark on criminal history in Latin America, and one of them is the disturbing and sinister case of the Old Lady Killer, one of the most cruel killers in the history of Mexico. Let's travel back to the year 2006 in Mexico City, where a series of murders left society astonished and filled with fear. The epicenter of this macabre plot was Juana Barraza, born in the Mexican capital in 1957. Despite her peaceful and ordinary appearance, she concealed a perverse mind and lethal skill. For over three years, Barraza spread terror among elderly women in the city, aged between 64 and 79. Most of her victims, defenseless and vulnerable, were in the final stages of their lives when they crossed paths with this ruthless killer. With intentions to steal money and valuable items, she employed skills acquired from her past as a professional wrestler. Juana Barraza mercilessly subdued her victims, using strangulation and suffocation techniques executed with terrifying dexterity. The city lived in fear, wondering who would be the next victim of this deadly predator. Barraza employed cruel and sadistic methods, instilling confusion and dread in society. Asphyxiation with cords or cables and close combat attacks with knives, razors, or her own hands were her favorite methods of assault. Each of the murders was brutal and committed within short intervals of time. Through similarities between the cases and an exhaustive investigation, the police managed to piece together the puzzle, gathering witness testimonies, forensic evidence, and fingerprints found at the crime scenes, which proved crucial in bringing Juana Barraza to justice. In 2008, Juana Barraza was initially convicted of four cold-blooded murders, but as time passed and further investigations took place, it was revealed that the number of her victims reached 35. She was sentenced to a total of 759 years in prison. The old lady killer had finally been captured, putting an end to her reign of terror on the streets of Mexico City. This case reveals the evilness in Mexico's criminal history, showing us the thin line between facade and reality. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy these videos. See you in the next story.